everyone, it's Jenny from the Yummy Bees. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna meal prep. Yay! It's gonna be a really quick meal prep because uh, I have things I gotta do. <laughs> Generally, when I meal prep, I like to make one to two proteins, one to two complex carbs, and one to two non-starchy vegetables, and then that way you can kind of like mix and match. Today, we're gonna be making some seitan as our protein. Then we'll be making quinoa and sweet potatoes as the, what you call it, complex carbs. And then we'll be making broccoli and Brussels sprouts as the non-starchy vegetables. We'll also be chopping up some onions, peppers, and then making like a little dressing. And so that way for the week, we'll not get sick of what we're eating. We'll be able to like dress it up with some other flavors. Yeah! So if this interests you, stay tuned. Okay. Yo, know, this kitchen is so messy. First, we will be making the seitan since it takes the longest because you, after you like make it, you gotta like, simmer it for an hour. And seitan is great because it is so freaking high in protein and it tastes good. You can flavor it however you want. Put a barbecue sauce on it, a glaze, whatever, and it's just so versatile. Of course, we're making the most basic version because uh, you girls gotta go. <laughs> the most important ingredient is this battle wheat gluten flour. We're gonna do two cups of this. Then we're going to add a half cup of chickpea flour. Then we're just going to mix these two flours together. And then we are going to slowly add in two cups of water. So I add in a little bit. And you basically just wanna make sure that there's no like giant clumps, but also that there's no dry spots when you're done. So this is what we're working with. And now we need this for five minutes. Then we're just going to let this rest for five minutes. And as it's resting, we're gonna get the broth that it's gonna simmer in ready. So we have about eight to 10 cups of water in there. I didn't measure it. <laughs> and we're just gonna wait for this to boil. Okay, so we're still waiting for that to boil, but we're gonna go ahead and cut this. We have 11 pieces, which means one and about a half piece is uh, one serving. Okay, we are boiling, so we're adding some of this stuff so that we can actually have a veggie broth. I'm gonna do about two tablespoons. Ouch, just burned myself. Cool. Now we're gonna add some soy sauce. I'm not uh, measuring this clearly. I'll link the recipe in the description. We're gonna add some red wine vinegar. We're gonna add some garlic. I'm gonna add some chili powder and some black pepper. Mix this a little bit. And then we're gonna add some Worcestershire and then bring this to a boil. All right, so now we're gonna stick our little pieces in ah, carefully. And then we're gonna just have this simmer for an hour and I'll just like do this. What's this called? Stir occasionally. So I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. Now we're gonna cut our sweet potato into some cubes. And because I'm super lazy, I bought halved Brussels sprouts. So we're just gonna throw those on the pan. For the sweet potatoes, we're gonna try to drizzle with olive oil. But I'm really bad at that. Come on, baby. Whoa. Then we're gonna mix by hand. Try to get them all coated a little bit. Then we're gonna add some paprika some rosemary, some garlic, and some garlic salt. And we're gonna mix again. Then we're gonna pop these in the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. For the Brussels, we're gonna drizzle with some olive oil. Oh, that's like a pour, that's not a drizzle. Goodness. Okay, we're gonna mix this around. Then we're gonna add some pepper and some garlic salt. Mix. And then we're gonna put this in the oven at 425 for about 20 to 30 minutes. One thing that's really great about doing sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts is that you can do them at the same temperature. So it's like really easy and they're both in the oven right now. Yay. Let's check on our seitan. They're looking good. Now we're gonna make some quinoa. Where is the camera? 
Here it is. Apparently, when you rinse quinoa, it's better. But we're not doing that right now. We're gonna do about a cup of dry quinoa, two cups of water. We're gonna add some garlic salt. Then we're gonna mix this and turn the heat on high. And wait for it to boil. Guys, I'm so disappointed in myself. But we're gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes on a low heat. Now we're gonna cut the rest of our veggies. So we're gonna cut our onion. Then we're gonna cut our peppers. So our quinoa is done. We're gonna take it off of the burner. It's getting a little hot in the kitchen. <laughs> Now I'm gonna make the tahini dressing and I'm gonna make a super simple version. Tahini, lemon juice, garlic, salt, pepper, water. Half cup of tahini. Then we're gonna do about a quarter cup of lemon juice, which is about one and a half to two lemons. Then we're gonna add some garlic, some garlic salt, and some pepper. Then we're just gonna mix it around. So you can see it's really thick right now, so we're just gonna add some water, probably about a fourth cup, and then mix that in. And this is our tahini dressing. And then we're gonna, then we're gonna do our broccoli, which is frozen, and then we just microwave it. <laughs> roasted sweet potatoes. And our roasted brassies. And it has been an hour with our seitans. This is what it's looking like. I'm gonna take it off the burner. Well, we did it. <laughs> what I generally do is keep each you know, item in its own container. And then either the day of or the night before, I'll put my little meals together, putting the ingredients I want microwaved in one little container, and then the ingredients I'll throw on top in another. And what's really great is that this is super high in protein. The sweet potatoes and quinoa also have pretty good protein and so do the Brussels sprouts. So yeah, whatever kind of combination you make is gonna be a pretty high protein to calorie ratio, which is great if that's what you're into, which is what I'm into, so that's why I'm doing it. The first meal I made was with seitan, obviously, red onion, bell pepper, sweet potato, Brussels sprouts, and the tahini dressing. The second meal I made from this meal prep was quinoa, seitan, broccoli, the tahini dressing, red onion and bell peppers. Well, um, if you like this video, you could subscribe. <laughs> it never gets less awkward. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching this. I hope you found it helpful. It really is pretty easy to do this. It took me about two hours from start to finish and I was doing some other stuff. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.